二零二三年有非常多的气候变迁导致的灾害，在所有的灾害里头，所有的人最难忘的其中之一就是夏威夷贸易岛的可怕的火灾。这场火灾呢，先是一个因为当时的气候。雷电就会导致电线杆里头的电线掉下来，然后从电线杆这样子火完全烧起了全面的房子，人们都来不及逃。到目前为止，我们想美国是一个强大的国家，当时的重建状况是什么呢？你很难想象，美国的制度很复杂，他们要申请保险，保险就一直拖，所以目前完全是原地打转，很多人就干脆离开了。二零二三年的八月八日。对夏威夷的贸易岛上头的人们，曾经是风景如画的这一群人，对他们来讲，他的人生从此改变。还有没有家乡？能不能够回去？保险公司说了算。MG wrong turn, wrong turn. Tonight, this is what it looked and felt like escaping the Lahaina wildfire. Oh no, oh no, guys, no, we have to leave. This new video showing the sheer panic as a family stuck in a line of cars had minutes to escape before the flames engulfed the road out. This is a disaster. 纽约时报查阅的采访和影片证据显示，最终摧毁拉海纳的大火起因是一根断裂的电线。在燃烧整整九小时后，大火开始席卷这个城镇。此前，消防员已经到达现场，扑灭过一次，并宣布火势已经得到控制。哪知下午开始复燃。The flames were fueled by dry vegetation and low humidity, along with strong winds from a hurricane farther south. Really fast. It got it got to our homes within seconds. With the fast-moving fire closing in on his home, Ochoa heroically grabbed both his kids and his friends' children. Their parents were at work and scrambled everyone out. Did you hear any alarms? Did you get any kind of warning? No alarms. No warning. Nothing. No no sign. Nothing that that we had to evacuate. Not even police rolling by telling us to evacuate or anything. The fires erupted Tuesday night, catching islanders and tourists by surprise. Some even fled into the ocean to escape the flames. Thousands of Maui residents were forced to evacuate. Entire neighborhoods were destroyed. Block after block revealed the charred shells of homes and vehicles, some still smoldering. The scale of the devastating loss now unprecedented in modern times. The deadliest wildfire in the U.S. in more than 100 years. Oh my gosh! Look at the harbor. The resort town of Lahaina is now shrouded in a blanket of thick smoke. The popular tourist spot on the western coast of Maui, steeped in native Hawaiian history dating back to the 1700s, was virtually unrecognizable today, even to locals. Oh my goodness! Look at all these houses. Lahaina used to be the capital of all of Hawaii. All the places that are tourist areas that are Hawaiian history are gone. And that can't be replaced. It's a new year and a fresh start for the thousands of victims affected by the fires on Maui last August. For some, to begin, Ho'omaka means living thousands of miles away. Anson and Janessa Cabanilla were born and raised in Lahaina. They relocated to Nevada with their five and six-year-old after losing their home in the fire. I didn't want my kids to wake up every day and you know see the scenery that we saw. Um, I didn't want them to kind of be reminded every day of what we've gone through. We took that opportunity to, you know, let's, let's get out there, let's go to Vegas, let's make our lives better. They were excited, we got into the house, but some days we'll have, have those times where our kids are like, you know, when, when are we going to go back home? Back on Maui, the path to a new beginning looks different for many. 
I'm usually in the burn zone maybe once a week. Insurance executive Mahialani Strong is a Lahaina native. A lot of my carriers have allowed me to come and adjust the claim. So that's where I go and I report back the damage that was found. She says she is handling more than 1,000 home and auto claims. About no later than 4 a.m. is when I begin my day. And I just I have a rule and I don't leave the office until every voicemail email has been dealt with. According to Hawaii State Insurance Division, as of last October, more than 3,700 homeowners have filed insurance claims in the Maui fire, with nearly 1,500 of those properties suffering a total loss. Their data shows roughly 40% of claim money has not been paid, totaling more than $486 million. Mahialani says she and her small team of six got to work the day of the fire. Nellen Caesar is one of those homeowners struggling with an insurance payout. There's no answer for that question. We ask, we don't know, we don't know. So that's the big problem and issue for me and for everyone. We first met Nellen last August as she transitioned to this hotel shelter at the Royal Lahaina. So sorry, it's so messy. Five months later, she's still living here, day by day, and waiting for the remaining money she needs to rebuild her home. We filed the insurance claim, but you know what they gave us is not enough. So we're still working on our insurance. 依照当地政府的统计,目前仍有2400户灾民没有固定的住所。the state also stepping in to assist homeowners with insurance claims. Shortly after the fire, State Insurance Commissioner Gordon I. Ito urging insurers not to cancel policies or refuse renewals. I think a message that we have to all the insurance companies, the carriers out there is, we need your help. We need you to be a part of taking care of our people now in the disaster they have experienced. For now, Nellen, hoping this new year will bring closure to one chapter so she can move on to the next. I want to rebuild our house. I've been there for like seven years, and it's so hard for me to leave Lahaina. My heart belongs to Lahaina. Omaka, Shu Chung Chung Fei Shu Chong Chung Sin Kai Shu Li Liang.